Obviously you don't want to be doing this all night just to turn off your alarm because that would be pretty annoying. <laughs> Hi, I'm Martin. This is not enough second. In my hands you see Agara Cube. This is Xiaomi's Mi Home controller, uh, which you can link to different devices. And in this example, if I'm gonna shake this, you'll see that in a second the Xiaomi Hub will light up uh, white. Now, all the gesture controls available are either push when you push it in a single direction on the flat surface, uh, you can flip it 90 degrees on the flat surface, you can flip it 180 degrees on the flat surface, uh, you can shake what you've seen previously, and then when you rotate the cube itself, and lastly, double tap on the hard surface. Those are controls available uh, with this cube. However, thanks to Nordred integration, I was able to do something else. So, if you see, I've been managing to uh, turn the light on with a simple gesture, but what happened if I want to have more gestures? Well, i would have to string them together, right? And that's why I did. So for example, if you push the cube itself, it will change the color in a second to green. And the delay is there because it's handled by Nodred, and Nodred is waiting for the second command to happen. Wait a minute, second command? You can't do this with me home, how come? Well, this is the good part. If I'm gonna push the cube first and then shake it, I should get a red, a blue color, sorry. But if I shake it first and then push the cube, I should get the red color. And this means I can string shakes, pushes, twists and turns to create dozens of commands. That's awesome, and you can have two gesture, three gesture, up to whatever gesture commands you want. Obviously, you don't want to be doing this all night just to turn off your alarm, because that would be pretty annoying. So, guys, uh, the showcase is over, and let's go and jump into the tutorial part. As you can see on my dashboard, so I've included uh, cube gestures. The gestures are available, and this gesture is going to show uh, the current gesture and the combination of gestures is going to be displayed below. Combination of gestures are two uh, gestures string together. So, for example, my last was move, so let's try to shake it and then push it again. And as you can see, I can, uh, I've made two moves, two gestures. There was a shake and move, and the combination was read as this. So, let's take a look at the old red. In an old red, you'll see I've got Xiaomi Hub configured. If you don't know how to do it and how to use the Xiaomi Hub with, with an old red, then uh, check out my previous video and tutorial. Uh, it's going to be popping out in the screen right now for you, and there is a, this article as well linked to this. Now, Xiaomi Hub will be basically sending the commands, the, the, this command report, each time the cube is touched or moved. So when you touch the cube, in a, if you connect the payload like this, you will see a couple of things. So let me just open my prepared commands. And the first uh, report is going to be alert, and that's it stored with a payload dot data dot status and that's your alert move after that uh, for a minute the cube is ready to receive the uh, gestures now let's take a look at the gesture itself um, this is also a report and in the status you'll see it's changed to move however there is a trickery to that because the move the shake and the turns are reported as a data dot status however rotations so the plane rotations are stored slightly differently where you have a, I think this is an angle and I think this is a time in milliseconds however I'm not 100% sure however you have to bear in mind that uh, the data for rotation is stored differently so if you um, created your filters uh, obviously you have to bear that in mind now initially I thought knowing this old information from the uh, debug node I could just write a um, filters using a function node However, I quickly discovered when using the cube itself, the cube nodes itself, you get additional information. Now, take a look at this pair. Both are uh, intercepting tap twice. However, in the first uh, in the first scenario, when I have, I've just set for just values, and that'll give me information about the battery. So I have a voltage level uh, in volts and voltage level in probably like low, medium, high which is also available. That's great because 
uh, I want to know when I should change the battery in my sensors. Uh, when I set the node to full data, uh, I'll get the second way of displaying information, which is basically just the way the um, Xiaomi gateway is reporting on this. Now, let's take a look uh, again on what I've created. Because the rotation is displayed in a different format, I had to create a switch node, basically, which checks if payload data.status is null or it's not null. As you remember, the information I received in here, uh, the status is populated when it's not rotating, so you're gonna see this some sort of command in here, but when it's rotating, the uh, data.status is null because it doesn't exist. So that was the easiest way to separate those two, and unfortunately, there is no way of doing that with cube, because uh, if you're gonna connect the cube, it's not going to report on rotation data. So uh, what I've done in here, basically, I report back to my um, uh, dashboard and the dashboard uh, has information about the gesture control. So if I'm going to uh, do something, you'll see there was an alert and then move immediately. So that's basically what it does. Another thing I was really excited about was stringing the commands and I actually figured out a way to do it. It looks a little bit scary at first, but it's, it's quite easy to do. Now, first of all, you can ignore uh, you can ignore this uh, because I'm only passing information to the uh, dashboard to get the combination of gestures. And I've used the uh, um, dasher, uh, sorry, uh, the batcher node, which has to be installed. I'll sh quickly show you where to find it. Uh, manage palette. So this is node red country batcher and what it allows you is to collect the number of payloads within the time um, time frame in which it's going to wait for the second payload and the payload's going to be issued so for example if i'm going to make two moves now i'm going to shake it and then i'm going to move it you'll see that the shake uh, and move has been sent as a single payload and basically that's what i use in here so i've checked what kind of combination I've been sent and this way I can multiply the number of commands. So tracing this back, uh, what happens basically, I've checked if this is not an alert because I don't want alert to be part of this uh, trigger uh, because I cannot control when I touch the device etc. Then I just assign the payload. So I've changed that because the batcher responds with the payload only and send that information to uh, batcher from both uh, sides. So whether I'm going to get a rotation or whether I'm going to get information about the uh, gesture, both going to be sent in here. And if both going to send within five seconds, then the information is going to be passed over. Otherwise, it will wait up to five seconds and send what it has. And uh, to make it happen, basically, I've changed the JSON into a string. So I could basically match the uh, string against my filters in here and get random actions to happen. And in this case, I'm just setting the color of my Xiaomi hub to uh, four different colors. And that's basically how it works. Thanks so much for watching guys. Uh, if you're interested what I'm um, up to next, I'm gonna be talking about the sensor, which is a temperature and uh, humidity sensor. And we're gonna integrate it with uh, Node-RED and my heating system as well. So stay tuned for that. If you use any social media, follow me on the social media of your choice and you get an instant notification when something is uploaded. So um, that's it for now, guys, and I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.